Self-love is all about listening to ourselves. It's about honoring how we feel, about tuning in to ourselves and making room for us. Instead of thinking the more we give to other people outside of ourselves, maybe we'll get something in return. We learn to participate in life in a different way. We learn to choose to put our oxygen mask on first, and then we give to other people. And in that process, what happens is we get to show up in a higher level of alignment for not only ourselves, but for everyone around us. Oftentimes people think that if they give to themselves first and they consider their own needs, they consider what's happening in them, they honor how they feel. Oftentimes what happens is they start to think that they're gonna take away from other people, that they're selfish, that they're being inconsiderate, that they're selfish. I'm gonna say it again. There's nothing that you gain by selflessly exhausting yourself and your energy giving to other people. That it, there's nothing positive in the long run that can come from that when we're focused in a point of physically healing our body. So I wanna remind you, I work with people all over the world. I have been in contact and connection with people doing what I do as a medical intuitive for over 32 years. So there's a lot of patterning I see. There's a lot of habits I see. And a big piece of the healing process is paying attention to where we give our focus, where we give our energy, what we have left in reserve, and what I call auditing our own energy style, our own energy focus. So oftentimes when I start working with someone, we focus a lot around self-love and around healthy boundaries. Saying yes to ourselves first is the most awesome healthy boundary I could probably even slightly come up with, is being able to choose to say yes to myself first. Before I say yes to anyone else, I say yes to myself first. What does that even mean? That's the big question is what does that even mean? What does it mean to say yes to yourself first? It means that you consider yourself before you say yes to anyone else. How many times have you shared how overwhelmed you are, how much you're doing, how you don't have time for yourself? I can tell you over the years, I have learned that illness and physical imbalance is a number one way where people learn how to create healthy boundaries by almost default because they have to. It's easy to say no to people when you don't feel well and you have a migraine or you're sick or you're not sleeping or you're anxiety ridden or you're having side effects from chemotherapy. It's very easy to say no to people because you simply can't do it because you're absolutely exhausted. And it's a way that a lot of people on the outside can validate you, right? So if you allow yourself to validate yourself first, that's a critical key of anchoring in to self-love, which can honestly connect to a very, very profound level of healing ourselves from the inside out. If we forget that we can only give as much as we have to give in a healthy, balanced way, if we forget that, our bodies will start to show a lot of fatigue, exhaustion, anxiety, overwhelm, digestive issue difficulties. It's just gonna naturally start to happen because there's only so much that we can give without properly giving to ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. So from a point of self-love, since we're focusing on self-love and anchoring into that for the month of February, anything that you do to support yourself is an anchor of self-love. Acknowledge that anchor of self-love. Focus on yourself and tell yourself how proud you are of yourself for choosing to do things that are positive for you. Allow yourself to take a little bit of space before and after you do positive things for yourself. So let's say you're going to get a massage. Take five minutes to take slow, big, deep breaths before you go get your massage. Take another five minutes after. Don't rush to just relax and allow yourself to really enjoy that experience just for five minutes. It's so often, even with work I do, I tell session, I tell clients that I'm working with before sessions to take a good five minutes of downtime after to make room for at least five minutes of downtime so that they can integrate and assimilate their experience. Otherwise, it's something that just kind of comes and goes. It's important to put a pause in life. If you think about self-love and you think about the most awesome times in your life you have felt the most loved, it comes from focal, from a focus point. It comes from dedication. It comes from 
moments of joy where time kind of pauses and connection really happens. It's the same thing in our own healing process. When we create enough time and we create enough pausing and we create enough space for connection, we will genuinely start to feel loved and connected, especially, especially when you're reminding yourself that that is your purpose or your intention of taking that time for yourself. So again, this isn't about the to-do checklist in the healing process that we're in. That's not what healing is about. Healing is about just slowing down. Healing is about learning how to love ourselves. Healing is about exploring what in our lives have happened that made it so we got, to used, we got used to not loving ourselves. We got used to not feeling lovable. So I'm gonna ask you right now, just to take a big, slow, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again. I breathe love and connection in this moment. I breathe in love and connection in this moment. I breathe in love and connection in this moment. When I remember to take conscious breaths, conscious breaths are an act of self-love. When we choose to do things in a point of love, the feeling of love is what we feel. The feeling of connection is what we feel. So as we give ourselves permission just to take little spaces in our day, of allowing ourselves just to breathe in and feel loved and connected, and exhale slowly and deeply out, giving ourselves permission right now, not when the to-do list is done, not when I feel like, you know, okay, now I deserve to have it, not when I'm good enough to feel this way, but right now or in any given moment to just pause and give ourselves permission to feel love in the moment, not compared to other moments that I'm worthy of it and now, but now any moment you choose to breathe in love into the moment and exhale out, that is an act of self-love. It might sound so simple, but I'm telling you, consistency with conscious breathing is one of the most powerful things we can do to heal our body, our mind, and our spirit. We are so used to automatically going on autopilot and giving ourselves to other people. Why? That's a whole process in its own. We're used to that though. We're used to just not choosing to take care of ourselves. We're used to not taking responsibility for ourselves and organically giving ourselves permission to explore and to commit to what we genuinely want to experience in our life. What we eat, who we spend time with, what we choose to spend our day doing, where we work, how we sleep, if we exercise or not, all of these things impact the quality of our mind, our thoughts, our experience in general. If I have Pepsi and donuts and sugar and pizza nonstop consistently throughout the day and all kinds of processed foods, I'm not gonna feel optimistic, happy, clear, mindful. I'm gonna feel overwhelmed. I might feel dread. I might feel depressed. I might feel anxious. So how we eat is an act potentially of self-love. Choosing to take time for ourselves and just breathe in the feeling of being loved and connected in this moment. Why? Because I choose to, not because I'm a good girl, not because I did something to deserve it, not because I completed a to-do list, not because everybody else is happy and content, but because I am worthy and I know how much I give to other people consistently in a day. And as I give to myself innately, I have more to offer and share with others. Taking big, deep breaths in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, with an intentional thought is one of the greatest acts of self-love that you could ever do. And I don't say this lightly. Choosing to stop and pause and give yourself some love, it's like giving yourself a huge hug in the middle of a day. Pausing, breathing with intentional words, slow, deep exhalation for three to five breaths, it's a game changer. Enjoy this process and practice it for the next week. I'll see you next Wednesday.